You don't often see a really loyal footballer these days. The players are eager to join big clubs to win trophies and get bigger salaries. But those who are not, they become legends and fan favorites. There may be various reasons to stay though. Today's video is about those who have stayed at their clubs for long, yet now are about to leave. A question for you before we start. Which one of these players has spent more time at his current club? Cesar Aspiricueta, Luka Modric, Jordan Henderson, Fernandinho. Leave your answer in the comments and let's get into it. Dries Mertens, Napoli In summer 2013, Dries Mertens moved from PSV Eindhoven to Napoli for 10 million euros. Since that time, the Belgian striker has become the best goalscorer for the club over Diego Maradona and Marek Hamšík with 143 goals and 88 assists in 380 games. He was at his best in the 2016-17 season under Maurizio Sarri, who was using the player as a false nine. That allowed him to score 28 goals and make 13 assists while Napoli finished third, five points behind Juventus. Things are not going well for Mertens this season, we must admit. Only twice he has been a starter throughout the Serie A season, as Victor Osimhen's performance pretty much made him warm the badge. No wonder he's been declining for some time. The Belgian is turning 35 in May. His contract is expiring this summer and it's unlikely Aurelio De Laurentiis and the Napoli board would want to extend it. The player, however, is also unwilling to sign a new one with a lower salary. Isco, Real Madrid After Real Madrid signed Isco from Malaga for 30 million euros in summer 2013, the Spaniard put on a decent performance straight away and was important for Los Blancos throughout the season. It was a pretty inspiring one as Isco had 13 goals and 8 assists at the end of it. Yet now we see that he hasn't lived up to the expectations. 37 goals and 46 assists in La Liga for 8 and a half years is not what was expected from the golden boy back then. There's been a lot of rumors about Isco leaving Real Madrid, but now it does look likely. The player has played only 10 minutes for the club since early October, and it's pretty obvious Carlo Ancelotti doesn't count on Isco anymore. The player's contract is about to expire. There are clubs that would like to sign him as a free agent this summer, such as AC Milan, Lyon, Everton and Fenerbahce from Turkey. Isco himself, however, would like to stay in Madrid and change sides. The question is if Diego Simeone would like to see him in his Atletico squad. Hey, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button, because here you can find all the most interesting about football. James Milner, Liverpool Yet another story is coming to an end. James Milner, the veteran, joined the club in summer 2015 as a free agent. Since then, he has played 270 games, scored 26 goals and made 44 assists and has been more versatile than ever. Originally a winger, the Englishman would play anywhere on the pitch, central midfielder, fullback, wherever Jurgen Klopp would like him to play. Milner has just turned 36 and his contract with Liverpool is expiring this summer. His outstanding versatility makes him really useful, yet his future seems to be unclear. Nico Williams, the youngster, has been playing well as a backup fullback this season and has Jurgen Klopp's trust. The midfield is also packed. Marcelo, Real Madrid It has been 15 years since Marcelo came to Real Madrid from Fluminense. 7 million euros. The Brazilian is now called the Real Madrid legend on merit as he has played 536 games, scored 38 goals and made 101 assists since 2007. His trophy count is also impressive, 22 trophies, 4 of which are the Champions League Cups. His playing time doesn't match his status though. Since Ferland Mendy joined the club in summer 2019, Marcelo has been benched more and more often. This season is likely to become his last one for Real Madrid. The Brazilian has only started one La Liga game so far and has played only 30 minutes in the Champions League since October. Marcelo is turning 34 in May. His contract is expiring shortly. Real Madrid most likely won't offer the player a new one, so we can see that everyone at the club agrees on him leaving. Hugo Lloris, 
Tottenham. Ugolo Ries came from Lyon in 2012 and cost Tottenham 15 million euros. He was already the first choice keeper for France, so it was a bit surprising to see Hugo join Tottenham instead of some bigger club. But he did, and now the Spurs captain has 398 games for the club under his belt. The Frenchman's saves and leadership helped Tottenham immensely as the former mid-table team made it into the Champions League final in 2019. There's been much discontent about his current form, however. The fans and the board do think Lloris has passed his prime long ago and that Spurs need a new goalkeeper. Antonio Conte wants Jordan Pickford from Everton and would try to persuade Daniel Levy to sign the Englishman. The current keeper's contract ends this summer, so even if the sides agree on signing a new one, that would make Hugo Lloris a backup keeper and also mean a much lower salary. That's why it's unlikely. Luka Modric, Real Madrid one of the best Real Madrid players of the recent years has been outstanding for a long time. 415 games, 31 goals and 67 assists for Real Madrid brought the club 4 Champions League and 2 La Liga titles. The Ballon d'Or he won in 2018 was not only about his World Cup performance, but for his extraordinary season for Real Madrid alongside Casemiro and Kroos. As for now, Modric is a first-choice midfielder for Los Blancos, though it may change soon. His contract lasts until this summer and the Croatian is turning 34 in September. That's why the club is doubtful about offering Modric a new contract. Florentino Perez might want some younger players to replace him. Modric doesn't know yet what his next club is going to be, though we can say he will have some decent offers despite his age. Paul Pogba, Manchester United After four seasons at Juventus, Paul Pogba decided to come back to Man United. Now he surely regrets it. Five years at Manchester and still he hasn't come close to his former level. His poor performance, his haircut, his dances with Lingard, all that made the fans mock the Frenchman on social media. Then he had a conflict with José Mourinho. Even after the Portuguese was sacked, Paul didn't become the Paul Pogba the club signed from Juve. His stats are 38 goals and 50 assists in 220 games for Manchester United. There's been rumors that Paul has already made the decision to leave Manchester United this summer as his contract expires. The Frenchman is set to be heading to Juventus, as it looks like Real Madrid doesn't want Paul Pogba anymore, even as a free agent. So next season, we might see him reunited with his former club and find out if that would help him rediscover his former brilliance. Angel Di Maria, PSG As Angel Di Maria moved to PSG in summer 2015 for 63 million euros, it soon became obvious that the Argentine was the right fit for the club. He has scored 92 goals and provided 112 assists in six and a half seasons for PSG. Many football stars have joined the team since then, yet none of them made the coach bench under Angel. As Thomas Tuchel once described Di Maria's best quality, he has got what it takes to be a real superstar, but his unselfishness is what makes him a perfect team player. What did influence Di Maria's playing time is the signing of his compatriot Lionel Messi. Since he joined PSG in summer 2021, Angel has started way less games than he used to. In February, he's turning 34 and surely passed his prime. So PSG is uncertain about offering him a new contract and is leaning towards finding a younger replacement for the Argentine. Gareth Bale, Real Madrid Gareth's Real Madrid spell has been a very controversial one. On the one hand, the goals he scored brought Real Madrid trophies such as the Champions League and Copa del Rey. On the other hand, his attitude has led to many scandals. The Welshman's stats look decent, 247 games played, 104 goals and 67 assists. Not bad, especially if you take into account his three goals in two Champions League finals. But the discipline has been really poor since the 2018-19 season, as if Bale doesn't care about the team and about his form anymore. Since then, there were more scandals than good matches for Gareth. The most memorable one took place after an international match as the famous photo was taken, Bale holding a Wales Golf Madrid in the order flag. That incident was the last straw for Real Madrid, 
No wonder the club wants to get rid of the player. He was loaned out to Tottenham in summer 2020, but he was back in a year and continued being a problem. So far, Gareth has played three games for Real Madrid this season. It has been three months since he last made an appearance. The winger lost Carlo Ancelotti's trust long ago and the Italian wants him gone. This is most likely his final year in Madrid, as Bale is expected to make yet another return to Tottenham as a free agent. Antonio Conte is said to be very interested in signing the Welshman. There are some other players whose contracts have only a few months left. The likes of Cesar Aspiricueta, Andrea Belotti, Ivan Perisic and Mark Noble, though their contracts are most likely to be extended. Some of the players this video is about have been long-time faithful servants to their clubs. Some others have been doing their clubs more harm than good recently. But nonetheless, all of them have given their fans some happy memories. After all, not all stories are meant to have happy endings. Now tell us, which one of these players will be missed the most? Share your thoughts in the comments. See you soon!